today we'll be unboxing and assembling the Kong Kamado Smoker. This is going to require two people at one point due to the weight of the grill. We'll open the accessory box and remove and lay out all the inner components. You'll find accessories such as your side trays, your wheels, your assembly screws, and other miscellaneous brackets. The other box will contain the ceramic cooker. Here I laid out all the components on the ground so they're easily found. If needed, refer to the manual for step-by-step -step instructions. First thing we're going to do is build the lower cradle for the grill. This is going to be done using the two cross brackets. Use a Phillips screwdriver to secure them with the Phillips screws included. After the cradle is assembled, using the wrench supplied, install the four caster wheels, making sure that you put the two locking casters side by side. Flip the cradle over, place it next to the grill, and lock the two casters. Open the grill and remove the inner components. At this point is when you're going to need assistance. The first person in the back will grip the grill using the rear pivot bracket. The second person will be in the front and with the lower damper open, use a glove and reach in, lift, and place it in the cradle. The first thing you want to do is install the handle. This is done by removing the two nuts that are already installed on the grill. Place the handle over the two studs and then reinstall the nuts and tighten with a supplied wrench. Next, open the grill and we'll begin the installation of the upper vent. On the vent, you'll notice that the screw is already installed, so this will need to be removed for installation. Note on the top of the grill, there is already a pre-drilled hole in the grill, so position the vent, align the holes, and secure with a screw and nut. Next, we'll be installing the tray brackets. Note the mark on the rear of these brackets. RF stands for right front, RB right back, LF left front, LB left back. Ensure that you position these in the proper location on the grill, otherwise the trays won't fit. Now you can go ahead and install your trays. Next thing we'll do is install the burn pot. While doing so, ensure the opening in the bottom of the pot aligns with the lower dampener opening so ashes can be removed. Place the cast coal plate, followed by the cooking grates. Make sure you clean your cooking grates with soap and water prior to using your grill for the first time. Now simply open the front sections of the cooking grates and add in your favorite lump coal, and you're ready to start grilling. If you have any questions or concerns, contact us at GorillaGrills.com, and we'll be glad to assist you.